Well, we begin with some breaking news. Shots ring out at the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl championship parade, leaving at least one person dead. Well, multiple others are also injured. Our Anthony Antoine is live in the studio to break down what we know at this point. Anthony. Another tragedy here in America, but at this hour, the number of people injured has increased. The Kansas City Police Chief says at least 15 people were injured in this mass shooting, and we know at least one person is dead. In terms of the conditions for the people injured, we've just learned the Kansas City Fire Department says three are in critical, five are in serious condition. Several witnesses reporting they heard what sounded like firecrackers at this parade. You can see the sea of red. So many people out there at Union Station, then terrified people running for cover. Police say two armed suspects were taken into custody. Firefighters estimate about a million people attended this parade along the route and at that main stage at Union Station. It is the same site where the Kansas City Chiefs held their Super Bowl celebration last year. But what was supposed to be another memorable celebration this time around ended in tragedy. I mean, when we seen it, my wife looked at me like there was no words even spoken. Like we just tucked and rolled kind of deal. Like we just had to get out of there because, I mean, I got a three year old and a four year old boy and girl like just seeing something like that and hearing it and just actually witness something, something like that. Like I've never been in that position to actually see or be in that position and then seeing something like that. We also learned that more than 800 officers were in uniform or undercover, but you got to imagine here, this is an extremely difficult event to secure. And in the sea of so many people running for their lives at the sound of gunshots, just like you heard from that man, there were a lot of kids at that event. Schools were canceled for a lot of kids here today because of the celebration, but now they're lost. So a reunification center has been set up at Union Station to get those kids back in the arms of their worried parents. And just as I walked out to the studio here, we are learning we are another lead where police say a group of fans may have also tackled one of the shooters. We're working on that for you now, not to mention a press conference can be happening here within the hour. So as soon as we get some more details, we'll get back to you guys here during the five o'clock. But again, I'll have more details for you on the News Edge Early Edition at six. Caroline.